It was founded in 1972, and it was founded as the Anderson County Arts Council. We love being in Anderson County, but we are not a affiliate of the county government. Uh, we are lucky that we um, do receive some grant funding from them through ATACs and things like that. But at some point along the way, the name was changed to Anderson Arts Center to reflect more details about what we do. So there was a group of women that started the Arts Council and led, I would say, significantly by Hallie Stringer Rainey. She was a philanthropist and, you know, mover and shaker in the community that helped to get a lot of nonprofits started, but she was the one that pushed this through. Uh, also with um, Elizabeth Fuller and so they began meeting as a group at Anderson College and from Anderson College they met there for about two years and then we were able to make our first permanent home in the Carnegie Library. It served as the library. We have people that come and look at exhibits here and say that they remember like being in the you know, downstairs area and reading books. Um, and then Anderson County built a new library in the 70s, 1972. And when they vacated the Carnegie Building, the Art Center moved in here for it to have its first regular gallery space and be able to do classes and things like that. But in about 1999, uh, Kimberly Spears was the executive director at the time, and there was a vision to purchase the railway warehouse that's directly behind the Carnegie Building and to turn that into the Arts Center. The community supported the Arts Center and in 2005, the, where we call it the warehouse, the warehouse location opened. Uh, we are lucky to be right behind the Carnegie Building and still um, have access to this place as well. Uh, Carnegie was deeded to us from the Pendleton Historic Foundation. Both of the buildings are ours now. The great thing about the warehouse when it was renovated is that it provided now ADA compliant space. What we have over there now, um, two or three classrooms. We have a thriving summer art camp program. We do an after school art studio for kids and that's doing really well. And our pottery studio is just booming. People are loving pottery. So this will be our 47th annual jury show. It is one of the longest running jury shows in the state. Last year we awarded more than $22,000 in prize money to the artists and we draw artists from all over um, the United States. I mean a lot of southeastern Alabama, Florida, Georgia, but we've had farther away than that. So it's a great way to get people into Anderson that might not otherwise come. At the end of April, uh, we are heavily involved with the soiree that the city is putting on and um, that Friday night we'll have our, we call it an extended exhibit of Art on the Town where we have art from the jury show will be in different businesses around Anderson. So the annual art auction, that is I think in its 38th year. So um, I'm telling you, our, our early people had some foresight to know, you know, traditions are great and, and how to get money raised. And um, that will be in at the end of August. I know that when they purchased the warehouse, there was, I want to say like a three or four million dollar amount of money raised to renovate the warehouse. When I started in 2018, it had been paid down to 219000 well, since then, we're now down to just under $50,000 to pay the debt off for the warehouse. And it's perfect timing. You know, it's our 50th year. We're right at $50,000 in debt. So this is the year that we want to get that debt paid off. So we go into the next 50 debt free. Uh, a perfect situation would be for us to raise about 100000 so that we now create a building fund to, you know, deal with repairs and upkeep and things like that. It only takes 50 people giving me $1,000 each to make that happen. <laughs> Anything over that's gravy. <laughs>